Hi and welcome to my guide of Olaf's quest. The quest requirement is the Fremic Trials quest. The skill requirements are 40 fire making, 50 woodcutting, able to kill a combat 100 monster and having a decent agility level to pass a walkway where the fail rate depends on your agility level. You could compare it to the basalt rocks at Barbarian Outpost. The items needed are any kind of axe that you can use, a spade, a tinderbox, some weight reducing armor and a weapon and some food to kill that comet 100 and also another low level skeleton. To speed up the quest I'm going to bring along one stamina potion of 4 doses. After the quest is completed I've also brought a teleportation method out of here and lastly you should need approximately 9 to 10 empty inventory slots. Where to start this quest? is just northeast of Releka, next to the cave entrance to go to Caldegram. I got here by using the fairy ring and I've used the code DKS and I've teleported onto the hill just east of Olaf. Alright, let's talk to Olaf and start our quest. Alright, select the first option. Ok, I will help you out. And you will need to gather some wood for him. Next, let's go east and go up the hill. Just go towards that transportation sign. And north of the fairy ring, you should find a dead bush sign on your minimap. Go towards it and you will find a wind swept tree. Chop it down to get one log. Once you have some locks, let's go back to Olaf and give this to him. And he will make two crude carvings. Press the spacebar a little bit more and I will need to head to Releka. So let's go southwest. Drink his stamina potion dose maybe, and let's go to Releka. Alright, when we've entered Releka, just southeast of uh, the long hall, you should find a water sign on your minimap. Near this well, we should find a woman called Ingrid. Try to look for her and talk to her. Just skip through the conversation and you will give her a crude carving for a loaf of bread. Do not eat it and go north. I will need to go north of this uh, big building. So north of the building and just a little bit west of the Berserker Helm shop we should find another NPC. I will need to talk to Wolf. To me he was just located west of the helmet shop. Talk to him. Skip through the conversation and you will give the second crude carving for a cooked shark. Also, do not eat this. Next, we will need to return to Olaf. So let's exit Releka once again and return to Olaf.
Alright, when you return it, talk to him. Skip through a dialogue a little bit and he will give you some damp planks. Next to him we should find some embers. Use the damp planks on the embers. And you will light it up. Click to continue and talk to him. Then select the first option. Alright, here I have some food. Now give me the map. If you didn't bring any food along, he will take the bread or the raw shark. To me, he took one of my swordfish. And now we will have Sven's last map. If you read it, the X is marked on that tree that we have just got some logs from. So let's go east, back onto that hill, back into the blizzard. And go back to that tree. We'll need to stand just one square south of that tree. And then dig in front of it. You dig a hole, you'll see a fade out, and you'll now be entered inside of a cave. Alright, let's follow this cave east. Just keep going east until you see that the path splits. If you would go west, there are the brine rats of Comet 70, which drop death runes, noted raw lobsters, raw sharks, and the brine saber. But we will need to take the eastern path and follow this path until we reach a picture wall. Just ignore all the Fremenic skeletons and search the picture wall. Click to continue and I'm going to solve this puzzle. On the right side you should find a couple of uh, buttons which you can pull. We'll need to first pull the bottom one, then the right one, then the top one, then the left one, and then the, uh, and then the horizontal one on the bottom to confirm. Then search the picture wall and you've passed this uh, puzzle. Let's go north and enter the big room. Inside here you will find a lot of skeleton Fremenix of Comet 50. We will need to kill one of them. So equip your weapons and kill one Fremnik level 50. Once you've killed one, it will drop a key. Pick it up. And now you will also find, next to the southern wall, two rotten barrels. Pick both of them up. When you have two rotten barrels, you'll also need to have some ropes. So let's grab some ropes. We will need to have six ropes. If you don't have any inventory slots, you can eat the bread now. You also don't need your tinder box anymore, you can also drop it for an extra rope. Alright, I got my six ropes, the key and the rotten barrel. Let's now go north east and go do this the most annoying part of the quest. In the northeastern corner you'll find a walkway. Walk onto it. Walk onto it until you can't go any further. Turn your camera south, might be a little bit easier. And you'll see that there is a gap on the walkway. Now you need to unequip your weapon and your shield, so I'm going to need to drop eat some more food. Equip your shield and your weapon. Then use the rotten barrel on the walkway where there is a gap. Then try to go across it, and if you fail, you should end up north of Olaf. If you didn't fail, just use the uh, second barrel on the second gap. If you have failed, go all the way back 
This completely depends on your agility level. Alright, I have made it back and I've crossed my first put in place rotten barrel. I will need to use my second barrel on the walkway. Hopefully I do not fail this barrel. And I have not. Alright, it took me only uh, two attempts. Next to you, you should now have found a gate. Try to open it. And you will now see a diagram with a key. Now you need to click on the shape that corresponds with the loop of your key. So my key has a star shape, so I will need to click on the star shaped key hole. And I have failed. Great. Let's go back and try again. Okay, so apparently after you fail by uh, unlocking the door, you will need to get another key. I didn't know that, so... Get back onto it and try to unlock the door for the second time. Ah, fucking great. Alright, I uh, got back, I have my key, I'm going to not run, I'm going to try to walk across, does this work? Apparently walking across does not fucking work, damn it. <sighs>
after 11 times falling into the water. Gate attempt number 2. I've passed it. I've passed it. I've passed this. Holy shit. Yes! Finally! After passing the uh, gate and walking across the entire walkway, let's go to the center of this room. Let's say it's a room, and there you'll find a shipwreck. Go to the eastern side of it, and you'll find an entrance. Next to it, you'll should find a chest. Equip your weapons, your armor, your prayers, your protect from melee, and open the chest. A comet 111 will spawn. Kill it. Only 60 HP. Once it is dead, open the chest once again to complete our quest. Congratulations, you've completed Olaf's quest. You are awarded with one quest point, access to the Brine Rat Cave, 20,000 GP, 4 rubies and 12,000 defense experience. This was my guide how to complete Olaf's quest. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.